Welcome to you, everyone. Hey, welcome back to Field of Screams, where all the lucky charms are tragically malicious. We're here on this chilly March evening for a spooktacular St. Patrick's Day celebration. They call me Tim. This is Katie. Stop. And we do things like this. So as usual, we did pre-buy our tickets, which means we can skip this front line and go straight into the arena. We are on a barcode system here, so not only do you get to skip the ticket booth if you buy online, you also get to go right up to the attractions themselves, have them scan your phone. It's a lot easier. What is all of this? We have axe throwing. No way! Yeah, I know. So if you would like to participate in axe throwing, um, you would go over to the info center here, you get a $5 voucher, okay. and then I can go over the rules with you then. Same price as the escape games then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Whoa! I can't wait to absolutely suck at this. I just need to look at this. Oh, it's so close. It's so, it's probably the closest I'm gonna get. That's fine. It's fine. I did my duty. Oh! I'm really not used to it being this bright for this long at Field of Screams. It's usually dark enough now that we have to switch to this camera either way because the GoPro doesn't shoot very well in the dark, but. Golden hour, extended. Thank you, daylight savings. No, we do not thank daylight savings time for anything. I don't know, well, get rid of it. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. They got the right idea here. Looks like we're gonna have a blaze later on. It's supposed to get pretty cold tonight, so I think that's warranted. We are going to be starting with the Den of Darkness tonight, one of two houses that are open, but we've got a special plot twist for you tonight. We have a wandering ghoul. It's going to be jumping in and out of scenes trying to get us. It's going to be a game of exotic tag. <laughs> so the game is, how many times can we get spooked by the mistress of the house? None of you will be leaving this building alive tonight. You'll be staying in here with us forever. It's always so festive in here. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> wow. There is so much going on. I almost missed it. That's two. Always with them. Every time. Yeah. Never had someone crawl after me. That was a no. Nope. Running through the gauntlet. Okay, stay. Oh, okay. Ah. 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 Woo. Ah. It's gotta be in here, right? Oh my god. We normally do the Den of Darkness after the sun goes down. It was really fascinating to learn that the first couple scenes actually use natural light. So we got to see a little bit more of the scene settings, especially that new one, the garage that they just added this year. Like all of that, I've never seen quite so clearly with my own two eyes before. Really, really cool. I will also say I counted as many as six stairs from the mistress of the manor. So I don't know how they do it, moving between rooms and all that, but it, it's so cool to me. It was fantastic. We love our Philippines fam. <laughs> Rude. I saw it coming. This is the best that I've ever been able to capture, killer. Look at him go. Here, boy. Here. All right, so it's about 20 minutes to eight right now. We've still got Frightmare Asylum to get through, and we want to grab a bite to eat because we're getting pretty hungry. But for all of that, We've been told there's a special event happening at eight o'clock and I am not talking about the projection show which does happen hourly. I'm talking about something even more special and uniquely spooky. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 
boyfriend. I done had these cameras in the bed. I swear I saw you. Woo! <laughs> it's a jailbreak. Jailbreak. So that's called the jailbreak, and that's what happens when they get overstuffed towards the front of the asylum. They just let everyone out at once. No to rain chaos. It was awesome. <laughs> they come around that corner. I know. They came in a huge club. It was fantastic. Behold the Holy Grail. Whoopie pies. Soon to be joined by hot cider. It's not very warm, is it? No, but I can't wait to eat. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's smoking. So our meal this evening is courtesy of the Fresh Cut Fry Truck, which obviously has a bit more than just fresh cut fries. We've got a hot dog with sauerkraut here. We each got a hot cider. Not immediately apparent by the container, I know, but that's what it is. We've got pulled pork cheese fries, which I'm really looking forward to. And then I got a white cheddar burger. Just a burger. Oops, I ruined it. <laughs> Oh, I totally it. ruined it. Oh yes, and we did get a peanut butter whoopie pie too. Because as soon as Katie saw they were there, we couldn't go without them. Clink! Wow. Woo! It's hot all the way down. Decorating the dog. Very elegant. Does it hit the spot? I haven't had my sauerkraut for St. Patty's Day yet. Oh yeah. That is sort of an Irish. There it is. So there's a couple different ways you could get fresh cut fries from the fresh cut fry truck. We didn't have to get cheese, but of course we did. And we got a barbecued pork on top. What do we think? I like it. I think I I prefer when it's like real cheese on top. I'm not a huge nacho cheese fan. Oh, I like nacho cheese. I'm sure it's gonna hit me just fine. Barbecued pork has great flavor. Good. I wasn't sure about the pork to be honest, so. No, it's very you'll like it because it's very saucy. Oh, saucy. Saucy. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. I do like it. And last but not least, we do have the whoopie pie. Peanut butter. Chocolate chip peanut butter. Chocolate chip peanut butter. We, we usually try to give ratings after the first bite, but I guess we're gonna go through the whole whoopie pie and, and then give ratings. I really like the filling. It's pretty good. I haven't had a whoopie pie in a while. I give it like a seven, maybe. An even seven? Yeah. Okay, so the temperature is definitely dropping rapidly we are feeling the freeze but before we head out we do have one more house to get to and that's gonna be bright mare asylum what's going on here <laughs> 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 I just want to take a quick moment and highlight the fact that this merch counter over here, the Scream Shop, is always growing. There's always new stuff being added every time we visit, so it's always worth stopping by to see what they've got in stock. Some of this stuff is definitely new since the last time we were here. These bags and wallets which have a very Loungefly vibe to them, if you're a Loungefly fan. Crossbodies are all new, so they add to this merchandise all the time. Hoo-cha! Outro and a photo. So this is gonna be a wrap on our time here at the St. Patty's Day event for Feel the Screams. A wonderful event as always. And there is always something new here, whether it's something we just missed before, like the jailbreak, which apparently happens regularly and we've just never seen it, or something that is brand new, like the axe throwing, or I think we can both agree that was a brand new scene in Frightmare Asylum, right? The whole first The floor. whole first room. They keep adding to this place. Not even every single year, like every single season. When we came for Valentine's Day, 90% of what we're describing to you right now did not exist. It was not here. It was probably conceptualized because Jim and Jean are excellent at what they do, but it was not 
physically constructed, and now suddenly it's all here. We're only giving you a little glimpse of what you can expect from Field of Screams. You have to be here to experience this all firsthand to know exactly what we're talking about. Again, we had a wonderful night uh, greeting some apparently fans of the channel, which was really, really cool. So yeah. thank you so much for saying hi. And it's a, as always, we love seeing our you know, Field of Screams cast family here as well. Yeah, 100%. It's always great to see you guys. And you always put on a fantastic show for us in those houses. So thank you very much for your hard work. With that, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and pack it in. We've had a wonderful time tonight, but we are cold, we are tired, and we're old. So we have a bedtime to get to. Until next time, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every night is a new adventure. And may the luck of the Irish be with you. Toodaloo!